Now, it's not everyone's idea of fun, but for those who've done it, they describe it as one of the biggest thrills of their life. South Aussies have been skydiving for five decades this year, and to mark the milestone, they put on a spectacular display in the city last night. So Paul Macon went along to catch up with some of our very first daredevils. You do get a fair adrenaline rush because you're jumping out of a plane. Adrenaline didn't mean fear, it meant fun. Shoot! This is a specky sport. There's more to skydiving than just excitement. Sure, but that first time must be scary. When the instructor said, yeah, you're ready to go free fall, you got out on your own. It was all up to you pulling the ripcord. I know what you're thinking. Why jump out of a perfectly good plane? Because it's fun is the answer. And that fun has been part of our culture in South Australia for 50 years. Uh, the guys are in the air, and they just let me know when uh, they're on the ground, please. To celebrate the milestone, a dozen or so skydivers leapt from planes over Adelaide last night and dropped in to see relatives and friends waiting in the South Parklands. <laughs> but it hasn't always been this easy. When we pioneered parachuting in 1961, the equipment was uh, old World War II stuff. Cole Parsons is the grand old master of Adelaide skydiving. He's trained more people in the sport than most of us have had hot dinners. They didn't give you any control, you just went where the wind took you and uh, landed like a bag of potatoes dropped from a building. Take the time back in 1976 when Cole, Steve Swan and one of our cameramen, Bernie Keenan, dropped into Footy Park. But as we got behind the grandstand, uh, the wind dropped out because of the effect of the grandstand. There was only one grandstand there in those days. And that caused the canopies to stop flying, to almost stall. And as you can see on that footage, uh, we just dropped in uh, pretty hard. The jarring probably led to a few people developing arthritis, I think. But as you'll see today, the, the modern jumpers have got gear that will hold a 40 kilometre an hour wind. They've got superb control. In the hands of an experienced jumper, they can come in and land on a 20 cent piece on one foot. The sky these days very much belongs to young bucks like Callum Hunter. And a warning to dads, watch what you give your kid for his birthday. Now you got into it because your dad gave you a tandem as a birthday present. I did, yeah. Yeah, great present that one. <laughs> and yeah, once I did the first tandem, uh, that, was, that was it. I was hooked. Uh, just the, the rush from the, you know, the, the free fall, the canopy, it was, that was it. And while the old timers had to jump out of real planes to train, Callum did it the fun way in Germany. Like a vertical uh, wind tunnel where you can actually practice uh, as if you're in free fall, but you're actually just statically uh, in the air there. It's, it's, it's a direct skydiving simulator. Um, it is the, the actions and moves that you make in the tunnel, exactly the same in the sky. And then there's the competition hot shots. In South Australia, they tell me it's Keith Perrett. No, that's not him. Is that Keith there? Keith Perrett? Might be. The Accuracy King? Looks more like the local Scoutmaster. G'day. G'day, how are you? Are you the accurate one? Oh, I have had my good days in competitions over the years. I told you they could land on a 20 cent piece. Watch him. I'll give it my best shot. Can you do it? Yes. We'll see. Meanwhile, Steve Swan wants to locate as many of the old skydivers as possible for the big 50 year knees up. November the 19th is actually the uh, jubilee of parachuting in South Australia. We're trying to get in touch with anyone who made a jump in the last 50 years, but particularly those who jumped in the early days. OK, here they go. The park lands their target. It sure is a beautiful thing to watch. Woo! So what about Keith? Oh, there he is. But will he claim the 20 cent piece? He is going to be close. <laughs> right on the money. Reputation intact. 
the 20 cents is his. It's a hard way to earn money. <laughs> Well, it certainly looks like skydiving in South Australia should be around for another 50 years. Just get out there and, and do a tandem. It's the easiest way to get into the sport. And it's so safe. And, and that shows in, in the skills and the progression level of modern jumpers. I mean, these guys do stuff now that we just could only dream of. Just looks amazing, doesn't it? I will pluck up the courage one of these days.